what is up you guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time please consider subscribing I would really really appreciate it if you like this video consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe share it with somebody that you think might enjoy it my name is Vanessa Lopez I am a mom of four wife and full-time transplant administrator I make videos about pretty much anything and everything from mom life to home decor and tips and tricks this is a fairly new channel. I would love your suggestions. What kind of videos would you like to see me make next? I would love, love, love your input. Today is a really exciting video because I'm going to be sharing with you seven ways to make your home look more polished. These seven ways are absolutely free. They don't cost you really anything except for time. So if that's something you wanna see, then just keep watching. The cheapest way to help your home look polished is probably one of the hardest, especially when you have kids. But when you have a clean home, it just elevates the look. You're able to appreciate the effort and the design and the thought that you put into your home. Little things like making your bed make a big difference. When you have a clean home, it really helps to reduce anxiety and it's really good for your mental health. If you're gonna have guests, make sure that the guest restroom is clean. Think about your guests. Little things make a huge difference. Like make sure that there's toilet paper for them to use. Have that extra toilet paper somewhere where it can easily be accessed by your guests. Have some hand towels. Empty out the trash can. In those areas where there's gonna be multiple people going in, like the guest restroom, have trash cans with lids. I also like the way the trash cans look when they have an extra bin inside that you can hide that trash bag so it just looks clean and crisp. As far as your kitchen goes, clean your countertops, wash your dishes. It really helps your home look polished. Another way to make your home look polished is to get rid of the clutter. Put things away. Don't have everything out on the countertops, especially with the kitchen. You can also put your spices away in a drawer that's easily accessible when you're cooking. Put those smaller appliances away and just pull those things out when you need to use them. Have as little on the countertops as possible. When you shower, just have three bottles that you absolutely use every time you take a shower. It does look really cluttered when you have a bunch of bottles in your shower. What I do with my kids is that I use these dispensers. I buy the shampoo, body wash, conditioner in bulk. Have you ever noticed when a house is staged to sell? It's very minimal furniture, very minimal decor. It just looks polished. A simple way to achieve that polished look is to utilize the drawers that you do have. For example, like the TV remote, a book you're reading, put it in the drawer. Utilize your vanity drawers, put extra towels in there. Anything that you use on a daily basis, just have it there in the drawer so that it's easily accessible and your countertop is clear, clutter-free, refined, and polished. I don't know about you, but my kids, it's like pulling teeth for them to put their dirty clothes in the hamper. So what I started doing, instead of having a hamper in their closet or their bedroom, I have the hamper in their restroom. It's that much easier for them to keep their restrooms clean. Another thing that really helps your home look polished is to take care of what you do have. I know for us, we have these velvet couches that I thought would be impossible to keep clean. When we went to a high-end furniture store, I asked, how do you keep these couches that are on display clean? She showed me this emergency spray that they use on all their furniture. So I immediately looked for it on Amazon and I found it. I linked it below for you in case you're interested. I also found this other spray that also works really well. It has a lot of five-star reviews. It's actually cheaper. I linked that down below for you as well. If you buy one bottle, for some reason, it costs more than the three bottles combined. 
So just a little tip. Have some extra paint for if you're redoing the paint in your house. You can also buy these paint pens. It's like a reservoir that keeps the paint for seven years. Whenever you need to touch up your wall or anything, it's the exact color that you need. The other thing that would help to keep your home look polished and cared for is these furniture markers and furniture touch-up pens. They're really, really convenient because then you don't have to worry about stuff marks or any kind of scrapes on your furniture. You just touch it up and it looks brand new. thing that I did when we moved is that I got rid of all of the old towels that were already ripped. Consider getting rid of those or you can repurpose them as cleaning cloth. You can also consider getting rid of those old blankets. If you're not going to use them, you can donate them. As far as your, your cookware, some of those pans might be toxic. If the layers are already starting to scrape off, it might not be a good idea to keep those around. So. The other thing that really elevates the look of your home and makes it look polished is when you hide the wires. If you have a lamp, if you have a TV, consider hiding those wires. It really looks a lot cleaner and crisp and polished when the TV is hung on the wall without any wires. It really makes a big difference. help your home smell amazing and beautiful, consider a simmer pot. Simmer herbs and spices, pour all that in a pot with some water, have it simmer, and it makes your home smell amazing. You'll love it. I linked some recipes down below if you're interested in a potpourri simmer pot. You can also put some vanilla into a small pan. Put that in the oven and it'll smell like it's your baby. It smells really, really good. You can also consider adding a few of your essential oil drops onto your air filter directly to vent that scent into the air. You can also follow an old realtor trick and bake cookies. It smells amazing, but then you have a treat for your guests. Have it. Seven ways to help your home look polished that are free or somewhat free. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post a video. Consider sharing this video with someone that you think might enjoy it. It was so fun hanging out with you and I hope you had a good time. These are fun, simple ways to help your home look more polished. You don't have to follow them, of course. Believe me, my home is not always looking great, especially with my four-year-old running around. Sometimes it looks like a tornado went through here, but it's also nice to have the home looking good. Let me know which of the tips you like the best, and I'll see you next time. Bye!